All right, y'all. First and foremost, give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and his son, the Hamashiach, who uh, some call Yahawashai, Yehoshua, Yeshua. Uh, we mostly know as Jesus Christ. Uh, we have a video here. Brothers, brothers did a video on me, you know, um, because I did the video on Romans 11. I put their name in the video. Brothers ain't like that. Brothers feel I'm clout chasing. Um, and brothers really didn't feel like I was even worth the time to, to come back and respond, breaking down the video. They got into it a little bit. But mostly you see the hood, the, the, the verses on brotherhood and that what I did was not very brotherly. Um, me trying to correct them on the Romans 11. And so they came back and rebuked me on the Romans 11 and did what I did to them, but they didn't put my name in it. So I guess the name in the video was the, was the, was the offense. Um, so I won't put their name in, 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 in this video that I'm doing right now. Um, but we got to get this correction. We gotta, we gotta go over the text. I don't know why, you know, we get offended over this thing when this is what we do. I thought we cry loud and spare not and uh, what's going on. Damn the brother. <laughs> Maybe he didn't know them other brothers, but he knows me. And at the very beginning of it, and there's many times he would post things on Facebook and I would respond to it. I'm going to tell you what I post on Facebook. Um, I post stuff like, this is for my Hebrew scholars. What does Genesis da 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 mean? I know the answer. I'm not. You think I'm going to go to Facebook to get a, get a theological answer on the text? You think I'm going to go and say, Hebrew scholars and I and I disagree with one West doctrine. That's bait, brother. I'm just trying to see. It's a certain kind of pride that'll bite on that that kind of post. It's a certain level of pride that'll bite on there. Uh, and I'm friends with pretty much all the camp leaders, all the camps. Um, but you one of the few that 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 hit that bait. You hit that line every time. And I'm not in, you know, I'm not there to, I want people to feel comfortable. I'm not there trying to correct people in that environment. I want people to feel comfortable giving their answer. And I want to see where people are at so I can see what the, you know, what I need to teach on, uh, what I need to correct and show where some of the holes are. And, and so I can show you, show people where the holes are or show you brother, your, where the holes are in your understanding. Um, because what I've learned is that uh, in situations like these, when you're trying to correct someone's doctrine, it, it never turns. It, it's, it's very rare. Brother is a babe. For him to just, he always has a certain reverence for you. Uh, but when it's on a level like me and you, you'll never listen to what I'm, you'll never come back and say, you know what, brother? Um, you know what? You were right about that verse, brother. You was right about that understanding, man. You know, I like that how you did it. You know what? I was, I was, I, you know, I, I looked over what you said, man. You know what? You were right about that. No, no, no. What you'll do, you'll come back and you'll try to teach me. You'll teach me the understanding that I tried to correct you with. And I won't say nothing. I'll let you teach it. But I know then that you got it. And it's that because I don't care. I don't need, I don't need the, the reverence. I don't, I'm not here for that. I don't need the clout. Y'all there for the clout. I just want you to have the proper understanding and keep being that, that, that main branch out here. That's out here, you know, flowering the people that's out here, giving the shit that's out here, teaching the people. But I want your, I want your understanding to be correct. Understanding that uh, us teachers uh, get the hard, the, the harsher condemnation. Yeah. He would say, can a one West brother give an answer to this? I will. Yeah. I'll be right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He'd be right in there. In the comments. You see me. Yeah, we're talking about and he don't be disagreeing with what I'm saying. Mm. Sometimes he, he cops out like, oh, yeah, I see. I see where you're coming from with that mm. and moves on. Right. But you're going to, how can you attack me 
for a Romans 11 breakdown where I teach it both ways. Yeah. What? And he said he teach it both ways, like it's it's two ways. Um, you didn't teach it my way. <laughs> the way you teach it, it, which one of the ways that you teach? It? You gotta watch my video, bro. Did I not teach it? A I think there's a secret passageway, right? But let's let's listen to a little of this. I honestly, man, this is wild. It's the root of that tree, which is Christ. Why would the northern kingdom need to brag? Why would the Israelite need to brag about an Israelite about being grafted into Israel? Do you see the question? That is a very unintelligent uh, question. Do you see the question? If y'all watch the video, y'all know exactly what he's asking. Do not bro boast against the natural. Brother said, that's a very unintelligent question. <laughs> natural branches. Yeah. What Lord scripture Christ. said they did boast? Right. It was just a warning from the teacher. So he's saying, because I said, like, hey, you know, this whole boasting thing, how does it make sense that Northern Kingdom been broken off and they're coming back in and they're they're bragging and boasting against the Jews who've been there the whole time? Or boasting against jews because they done came in according to his understanding they done came in um because these jews have fallen and so they're boasting against those jews that have fallen and saying hey we we because you fallen we done came into this thing I don't see how I don't see how that you know that's my question is like why how, how is that how does that make sense like I don't see I don't see that happening it makes more sense according to my understanding to me in my opinion sir don't do that but his defense to that though is that the text doesn't say anything about um that they were doing it he just saying that they're he's warning them um of doing it the text don't say that they were boasting and um my response to that and it's you know again he's gonna say oh well, well let me just let him say it but he's he's rationalizing from a he's a minister of questions he's asking it a question he's a minister of questions and i and i kind of like that uh i don't know if that's a insult but um i like the questions i like teaching in a form of questions because i want i want you to think i don't want to tell you i don't want to i don't want to tell you i want you to think and you come to it yourself and then you come back and teach me and then i say you know what yeah man you're right you're right you're right and, you know even though i feel like you know i had to understand and you know i've been teaching that for five six years but yeah absolutely brother you you broke that one down and then you go ahead with it because some ego some pride need that they need to think that i'm the one that did it i don't need that question as if he's making a point yeah. Why would a northern king? You can take my videos, chop them up. You can, if you get a lesson from me and teach it, you ain't got to say nothing to me. All praise go to the most high. You ain't got to say nothing to me about you. Ain't got to mention my name. You agree with something I was teaching? You go out there and teach it, man. All praises. No, you ain't got to say nothing about no principal, no brother Phineas. To me, to brag. No, because what you can do is you can realize. That you save through Christ, mm -hmm. and then you can come in this thing and get puffed up. Mm -hmm. yep. I'm better. You you can start taking the gospel and attacking the Jews. Yeah. I'm I'm a better believer than you. Like y'all crucified Christ. Like Christians do today. Y'all 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 think it's all about that law. See, he rehearsing the conversation now himself. I'm a better I'm a better believer in Christ than you, and it still kind of sounds iffy brother it sounds iffy but you know that's where you want to go with we both speculating like a christian does today it is about the law brother you must keep the law, must keep the law. Yep. so so the 
So the author of this set of this stanza is telling you don't be like that, but you asking it like I said they did it. Yeah. Let's let's but and then not breaking it down. And, and the, the same author said something. What advantage have to you? Much every way. Mm -hmm. But him was given the law, the oracles of God. Yeah. So <laughs> obviously, obviously, the laws of God matter. Oh my gosh! Let's let's see. Let's listen. Let's listen. Branches that have been broken off of that one tree, of that one tree, and thou being a wild olive tree. Now you have another tree. You got the one tree. You got branches that have broken off of that tree, and now you got a wild tree. But it's very important. He says, "You now, you." being a wild olive tree were grafted in among them come on and with them partakers of the root and he missed that part he he kind of rolled over it talking about one tree read and if some of the branches be broken off of that one tree and thou being a wild olive tree were grafted in among them see how he kind of stuttered a little bit Ooh, when what, what is he talking about when oh, when oh, when oh, did oh. i stutter guys oh, I read body language. Uh, if you watch my, well, you don't watch my videos, but for those who've watched my videos, I read body language more than I read what was actually coming out your mouth. So when I seen you do, do that right there, to me, that was a stutter. It wasn't what came out of your mouth, it's what came out of your body. Pause. Hold on, wait. When did I stutter? So that's that low hanging fruit. Yeah, I I need him to be wrong some kind of way. Somewhere. So I'm not gonna deal with the greater issue of the reasoning behind what's being said. I'm gonna suggest that somehow Joel is a liar. The the same guy who taught it both ways. I'm gonna lean on the fact that he's incapable as an instructor somehow and he's hiding something from you so now i'm a deceiver yeah. but when did i stutter yeah. the reader is reading no, i didn't say anything <laughs> niggas yeah. be like you hear how he cleared his voice but let's let's hear the breakdown where well, he started 16. it says verse 17 and if some of the branches be broken off and thou and thou you know what that tells me right there that's who he's talking to wait who is paul talking to and you if some of the branches be broken off I, who is he talking to is he talking now i just told you that he's talking to the wild olive tree so establish what i need you to do is establish who's the natural tree one who is the natural tree write that down who are the broken branches write that down and then who is the wild olive tree? Write that down. There's three three characters in this story. I need a name for from you if we're going to continue this dialogue. Who is the natural tree? One. Who is the broken branches? Two. And who is the wild olive tree these are three different characters i need you to put the names in there for me uh if you do a response video it started at verse 16 it says for if the first fruit be holy the lump is also holy and the root be holy so are the branches and if some of the branches be broken off and you being a wild olive tree were grafted in among them so the them is the broken branches and the in the tree that is holy oh my god bruh. and then there's oh my wild. god oh my god bruh that's the point now look so he just did all of that in agreement to what i just said I, look at the breakdown he's arguing for the thou to be someone outside of israel right. but i need you to just tell me who the wild olive tree is i just need those three things 
uh laid out if you say that okay where well, the natural tree is israel the broken branches are the northern kingdom and the, the the wild olive tree is the northern kingdom like i just need you to write that down and then we'll then then let's walk through the text in romans chapter 9 paul just told you who the gentiles are and they use roman 9 24 and this is a great point he's making this is the strongest point for a Israelite to make. This is the last stand. So he's going to say what I, you know, it, this is like chess. So he has to, he, he's saying, hey, man, you know, if I move here, he's going to have to move in this position. He's going to save my position. In Romans 9 and 24. He told you the Gentiles are the same people that Hosea was talking about yeah. in chapters one and uh, one. chapter one, verse 10, yeah. which would be the northern kingdom. What you what you have to be teaching is Paul did not understand Hosea's prophecy mm -hmm. and took a prophecy that applies to the northern and southern kingdom, right. Israel and the house of Judah, northern, southern. <laughs> and applied the qualifying words that apply to the Northern Kingdom and is substituting those words to be for actual heathen. Right, right. That's what you have to teach. And he's correct to an extent. Um, I don't know if he said it just absolutely right, correct the way I believe it, but yes, Paul has to I'm saying that Paul, I have to stand on that Paul has taken a text that was uh, for the Northern Kingdom Israelites. That was about the Northern Kingdom Israelites. And he has applied uh, that understanding to heathens here now. And I will stand on that. And I will double down and say, I can show what Paul has done it again. And I've, I can show you where Paul has done that in other places that didn't apply uh, the, the same way they applied back in the Old Testament um, or back when they were first spoken. And so, and that'll show Paul's methodology that he does do, he does do this sometimes, but that's how I would stand on that. Um, also, I don't believe the Northern Kingdom's there. Right? So, and a lot of, you know, I ain't gonna say a lot of brothers, but um, most of the other brothers that I've talked to that have tried to spin this, um, they would say that this is talking to Jews because the Northern Kingdom is gone. The Northern Kingdom is not there during the time of Christ. Yeah, it's a few sprinkled here and there, but not enough to make a whole ministry to gather these people when they, you know, most of us believe that they're here in America. That they've been here in America, you know, five, six hundred years, seven hundred years. So when they see that, they'll have to say, well... And that's another chess piece. Now to say, well, no, 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 no. He's talking to Jews or Hellenized Jews who don't know their identity. And uh, he's going to those people. But instead, you want to argue the semantics of the English reading. The people. And he didn't want to deal with that. He didn't want to deal with. Well, I ain't going to say he didn't want to, but he didn't deal with the fact that i'm saying whoever the wild olive tree is that is his audience if you think the wild that he's um uh, talking to um northern kingdom you have to say the wild olive tree is northern kingdom if you're gonna pull romans 9 24 to say paul is speaking to northern kingdom then that wild olive tree must be northern kingdom so who are the branches that are on the ground? And who is the natural tree? If Israel's the natural tree, who are if, if Judah 
is the natural tree. And well, yeah, because because Israel is a wild olive tree. With your understanding, Israel is a wild olive tree, so they can't be in the mix of the broken branches in the in the original tree. If you're saying his audience is Romans 9, 24 is his audience. That's quoting the book of Hosea. Then we know that you, thou, thou are the uh, wild olive tree. We know the audience there is the wild olive tree. Then you have to say that the wild olive tree is the northern kingdom. So who are the broken branches? Are they also the northern kingdom? That's why I said just write that down for me. Broken branches, original tree, wild olive tree. He's talking to her at the church in Rome. That's like what a Muslim would do. And it's low hanging fruit. And the rest of this chapter cuts. Like it cuts. Yo, you're like the rest of this. Brother, go back and go watch my video and see how I break down the rest of the chapter. Uh, They not going to do it. But um, I challenge brothers to do it and break it down piece by piece, man. Give me that strong rebuke. I'm here for the correction. If y'all believe they corrected me after this video, hey, man, put it in the put it in the comments. Hey, yo, man, and look what he puts. He doesn't say he doesn't say I disagree yeah. with Sons of Thunder's breakdown on Romans 11. Nah, he puts Sons of Thunder leader Yahweh all is wrong about Romans 11 break, but he know me. I might have spelled that brother name wrong. Right. He didn't say the brother I used to read for. Yeah. He didn't say. He didn't say the brother I used to read for. <laughs> my Facebook friend Joel. Right. Facebook friends. Instead, he paints me to his subscribers as somebody he's, that he has no idea who I am. Yeah. I'm just another one West Israelite that's wrong. Right. Right. Matter of fact, I'll prove that. Let's go back to the beginning. Yo, the rest of Romans now watch this. He's cutting this chapter. All right, first and foremost, give all praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and his son, the Hamashiach, um, who some call Yahweh Shai. Who some? Nigga, what do you call him? Where did you learn Hamashiach from? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you this too, brother, y'all. I got a video on here with um what brother, what divine prospect says about the Lashawan Kwadash. Um, and I remember a a conversation either they had on a clubhouse, but that might be what it is the clubhouse discussion um but a lot of leaders with the shower pot was there uh um not not alazar but the um the brother in sakar that has that made the bible like he uh made his own bible uh but he he claims to speak hebrew um and i want to say you were there but um divine prospect told you a lot of the or he said a lot of the issues with the lasha wanko that's meaning that nobody teaches grammar nobody did nobody nobody saying is it a vso language or a sov language um nobody's teaching syntax is you know we learning the alphabet we putting letters together we 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 see we see the Hebrew word that the what we call the Yiddish Melech, and we put an A in the we change the vowels. Let's be one hundred. Let's be one hundred. I used to play that game myself and quote the alphabet, and I had memorized the first two verses of Genesis. So if anybody said, "Hey, man, we can't speak Hebrew." I could quote the first two verses of Genesis and uh, be like, what that mean? See, you can't say we can't speak Hebrew, bro. We do speak Hebrew. But the more you learn about the language and the more you learn about anything, 
the more you end up realizing, okay, you know what? I don't know. I need to, I need to, this is going to take some in-depth study. It's going to take some, some, uh, some, some in-depth dedication for, for, for me to learn this language. And we so prideful and, and don't know the language. We telling somebody else what the language ain't. And all we speak is English. <laughs> like, and if that ain't the Dunning-Kruger effect, we telling he, hey man, that language you speaking, that's trash. Yeah, really. Who taught you that? Your host, you were, your sure, we most. And so when I say that, I'm trying to just give respect to all ideologies when it comes to the name. The little hats will say Hashem, like, you know, the name. Uh, there's a lot of verses in, in um, even in, uh, it's a rock that 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 tells you um you know don't be don't be saying the name all the time um but you know i just try to give respect to all understandings on the name being that i don't i don't have a full understanding on the name so i just try to respect everybody's level of understanding on it i don't know enough to tell somebody they wrong and I heard even Divine Prospect and Minister Corns say the uh, the safest thing to say is Yah. Actually, no, was Jesus Christ. We gonna run through Romans eleven with the Sons of Thunder. I differ in uh in um in my breakdown Let's see what we with had this. Time wise. Uh, we gonna show a few holes Thirty minutes in the dark and a few air. We gonna try to correct some things uh, through the Spirit. And i um, not here to condemn, not here to just, to, you know, just, hey, these are some things you need to look at. And, and these, this is how um, I see them and I would explain these things. So then why don't you just do a video called Romans 11 right. and you teach it? See, it seems he just, his main issue is the title. So I won't put your name in the title no more, brother. You gotta, use, you gotta now, use brothers to garner some type of attention. Now, what you can do is you can look at a brother's. And, you know, we did get 200 views up there. So, that's above our average. We we really average about 50. So, we did jump up a little bit. Woo -hoo -hoo! Sidebar, and you can tell who he's studying with. Yeah. yeah. And he's watching our videos. And so they paying attention. Now you're paying attention to the sidebar. And I think, you know, it's something that caught his attention there. Um, but he see that their videos there and, you know, uh, the algorithms recommending their videos because I'm actually showing their video in, uh, like I'm doing right now. I'm showing your video because we going over that video. We're watching it right now. Yeah, see that? Now, did he do a video? Hebrew Israelites mm -hmm. teach a sister on the street mm -hmm. to be modest and they don't bite her head off mm -hmm. and they push her towards holiness. Nope. Did he do a video on that? Yeah. But it's right there. <laughs> nah. I, yeah, I, I probably clicked on it. I, I may have clicked on it. If I clicked on it, I clicked on it. But yeah, I probably wasn't interested. It, you know. If I get, I gave it five minutes. That's more than a than an average, you know. He didn't watch all of it. <laughs> he watched five minutes. Oh, they're not cursing her out. Uh, I don't uh, care yeah. about this video. <laughs> but he watched all of Philo of Alexandria. He he watched all of who was Philo from Henry Abramson. He watched all. You know why I watched them? Because there's a narrative going on about who these hellenized jews are philo is a hellenized jew a historian a greek philosopher but he is a jew all right lived in alexandria egypt and he describes these different sects of jews during the time of christ we have a hellenized jew giving us the descriptions in 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 describing people among Israel and among Rome 
Philo is very vital. So we can get to the bottom of this thing. We'll get to the next level. I'm going to tell you too, if you got the Babylon, the 10 book two book, uh, hold on. This book here, 84 is usually uh, the verse we highlight. And a lot of times we don't read nothing else. But what made me look is that, you know, we talk about Vespucian and the million black Jews that, that, that got taken into captivity. But, uh, we see here, you can't see it probably, but it talks about this paragraph right here. It talks about the, what, um, information that was gleaned from Philo, um, about millions of Jews being in Libya and Egypt. But we'll get into that in a few months. Like I said we got to dive into that, uh, that history, but that's not being taught within Israel. All of that. It's okay. I'm not knocking the brother wanting to do scholarship. We do the same. But where's the introduction of, I used to read for Yahweh all. Yeah. This brother was always respectful and kind to me. I used to read for brother Yahweh. That is true. That is not all the truth, though. And we're friends on Facebook. And anytime I attack one West with an open challenge, he comes in the comments. And many times he's right. So why don't I just reach out to him personally? Nah, he didn't say that. Watch this. Being grafted in. You got brothers that teach that this is the Northern Kingdom being grafted back in. Now... As far as I know, the original One West teaching concerning <laughs> GMS don't call. <laughs> the brother GMS ain't calling nobody. They ain't calling nobody. They are correcting jokers left and right, man. Why me? Why why jokers got an issue with me? But I think it's just because I put his name in there, man. This was that this is actual Gentiles being grafted in. That's what they taught at the original school. Now, there are many teachings from the original school that brothers do not carry today, okay? Because you can break down the scriptures how you got to break them down. That doesn't mean that the original school was teaching that all nations get the promises of Israel. The way that they taught it was like this. The grafting in is saying, we going to go up a little minute. I'm sorry, y'all. We got to go to about 58, 58 minutes right here. In the Matthew 15, 24 explain video. I believe you were there. That's crazy. He was there. I believe. Hey. Uh, let's, let's, let's listen to some more. Paul is saying, don't be like that. Read. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. It was broken off because of what? Unbelief. Very important. They were broken off because of unbelief in what? They weren't broken off because of keeping the commandments. Broken. They were broken off because of unbelief in what? What? In the Messiah. Get what? what? Hold on. No. Hold on. Hold on. That's the worst breakdown. Of, all right. That's it. That made. All right. That's it. Wait. How does that? Wait. Hold on. Calm down. No. Hold on, calm down. This calm down. I let you talk for it. The words of your mouth. When much speaking is a fool made known. Listen, no. listen. The branches being broken off were written in the book of Jeremiah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you telling me those branches were broken off and the kingdom was split because they didn't believe in the Messiah? So now he's saying that, you know, I said the, 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 they were, the branches were broken off because of unbelief in Christ. They laughing and making mockery of that. And saying that the branches were broken off back when the kingdom was split. That had nothing to do with Christ. We're going to show you why that's problematic. That makes no sense. No, Brothers say that made no sense. The, 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 the branches were broken off because of unbelief in their God. And he's saying the branches are broken off, not because of unbelief in Christ, but because of unbelief in Yahweh. And I would say, well, Pharisees, unbelievers, were Pharisees 
part of Broken Branches was a Pharisee that didn't believe in Christ, but believed in Yahweh and was sacrificing at that temple and tithing with the men in the common. Was he a broken branch or was he a natural tree? What was that Pharisee that, that fell under that? Kept the law, but didn't believe in Christ. They didn't believe in the minister of questions. <laughs> I might change the channel to that. Their God, they were idolaters. Read, read the book of Jeremiah and learn. Read Ezekiel, read Hosea. They were idolaters Ephraim is joined unto idols let him read the whole book <laughs> uh, you know we we are constantly going into captivity because of disobedience um if you're equating that to unbelief i don't know if i would do that him idolatry yeah is is but i don't I, you know they just like to those other gods they could mingle with both of them. They know that God, you know, they know your power is one thing, but they wanted to, they wanted to be inside of those temples, you know, with those, those orgies and all of that other foolishness that these jokers had going on with those pagan rituals. Alone. It's Hosea 4. He can't even swear that God liveth, neither come up to Beth Haven or Gilgal. He and, can't. And Paul quoted that in Romans chapter 9. Now, wait a minute. Now, Two chapters earlier, Paul was teaching from there. And now, my guy said, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, he never behaved as a student. He always behaved like I got my own camp, but I. <laughs> so, you know how initially he was just trying to say, oh, he just a reader. He was just my reader. He came there to read for me. Now this brother saying, hey, man, I wouldn't claim him as a student. Why is he saying that? Well, we can speculate and say that he's saying that because that's the impression that that brother was trying to give off, that I was his student. And he messaged me that if y'all been following me, I put the I put the messages from Facebook on here. I didn't respond to him. I put him up there. I let him I let him feel like, yeah, 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 you right. Because if I would have told him he was he wouldn't he wouldn't have said this. If I would have told him what what he's what he's about to have to say right now, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have been in this position. I want to help you, Joel. Mm. You. I want to help you, Joel. That was that was the stance that came in. They were idolaters ephraim is joined unto idols let him alone it's hosea 4. he can't even swear that god liveth neither come up to beth haven or gilgal he and can't and paul quoted that in romans chapter 9. now so wait a minute now two chapters earlier paul was teaching from there and now my guys said, <laughs> hey <laughs> hey he never behaved as a student he always behaved like I got my own camp, but I want to help you, Joel. Mm. You need manpower. I want to help you. He never behaved as a student. He always he always had um, the energy of I know, I know more already. or I know already. Yeah. All right. But so now he turns around and says, "Well, he already had. I was teaching also, but your brother ain't genuine enough to say that." Brother ain't genuine enough to say, you know what, man, them brothers came in. They already had signs. They were already in uniforms. They were already teaching out there. And so let me tell you this story. Let me tell you. Let me, I'm, I'm just give you a brief history, y'all. It's only, it's only going to take me two minutes, less than two minutes. <clears throat> Initially, the first congregation I went to was the Hebrew congregation of Atlanta um, that was governed and shepherded by Minister Corns and Divine Prospect would teach every now and then. 
uh, there. They would ask him to do it if Minister Corns wasn't there. Um, initially, you know, I got built up a little bit there, maybe a, maybe two, three months, and then um, I started passing out flyers. I, I end up getting my own flyers. Uh, they were kind of they didn't they were kind of against camps to be honest they they weren't they didn't like camps out the way they the way they was teaching out there um but that's what i liked <laughs> so um uh, and that's what i was driven by so i went and got some flyers and i started teaching um little milky stuff at stonecrest and passing out the flyers I did that for a month or two before they end up kicking me out and threatening to ban me from the mall. Uh, you know, then I ran into a brother that had on fringes. I turned the car around, uh, talked to the brother, built with him. He cut hair. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I come in and get a haircut. And then I ran it by him. Like, hey, you know what, man? I'm going out here. I'm passing out flyers. I got these flyers. I, I do da 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 da. Woody woo. Um, I'm thinking about hitting these streets. And, um, that brother was thinking the same thing. He was already on the same page. He cut hair. He had IUIC playing the whole time. Um, and then most of the other brothers he knew that came from him, uh, which was Moshe, a uh, brother he did mention in here, uh, Brother Nabala, uh, his name now. Um, and that brother called me with the Romans. <laughs> uh and y'all may be seeing brother nabala here on the channel uh very soon um we trying to um trying to do some things but yeah we've both come full circle nabala so brother nabala was there but um and brother nabala was one of the reasons that we linked up with hoy he wanted he seen that uh hoy was in uh want to be in atlanta he was like you know he brought it to us like hey man hoy gonna be in atlanta hey let's all go out there and uh see uh zabak and uh so we go out there we teach out there at five points in a couple places waiting on to see if those brothers would show up we also met a brother named uh Kanal that was in sons of thunder i don't think he's no longer there but um we also met him he was just getting out of a situation and man he jumping straight on there like you know we had laid this, the signs out man he jumped right with us start reading and, and um we was teaching it wasn't even you know it was like a little slight introduction we seen brother had you know uh brother knew what was going on and i think he had on fringes if i ain't mistaken but yeah man come on this side man teach with us um and then later on we end up seeing zabak them later down there and we got up with them and come to find out that uh they were about to um start atlanta hoi and um y'all was gonna be the leader of that particular with of that of that sect i think but he was the leader i don't know if they if he was planned to be the leader or if it was shower par i don't know the inner workings of that um I've heard some things, but I won't speculate. I won't, you know, I don't know. The, I don't know the full gist. But anyway, you all was that leader there. All right. Shao Paul was not there when I was there. Um, and so the first time, yeah, he did go out. Uh, we were there uh, to to give support. And plus, Brother Nabala wanted to join HOI. Eventually tells her, hey, man, you know what? I'm going to join HOI. And so he goes and... Uh, he stays with them. Um, but we came in and we let Zabak know when we when we established this, we let Zabak know we have doctrinal differences. And um and we do things a certain way, da 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 da. But um mostly our learning there from uh Joel was pretty much or y'all was pretty much structural. Um how the camp is supposed to be structured. But we the ones had to, we had to, he had, and he had a camera. He the one taught us too how to, that we need to really get a camera to, to really, um, 
you know, invest in a camera and, and film things and do, do it that way rather than, um, we were just going Facebook live, you know, somebody just go live on their phone for a little minute. Um, but we didn't agree with that, man. We don't want them stars. We don't want them wearing the star, the shield of David or whatever. No brothers and kind of got away from it now, but we were bringing that out at that moment on the, uh, on the phone call saying, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Anyway, we was already established as a camp is what I'm trying to say. And uh since it was just uh yoel and another brother named naquam uh with them i think canal was there but canal uh he was kind of in and out i think at that period i don't know if he was there those other that was pretty much just naquam and uh y'all and um we were there for support we were there till they built up once they got a few numbers um and it didn't take y'all all long to 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 build that camp up where they were you know after we left maybe a week or two later maybe two or three weeks later they were bigger than than we were they had more members than we were uh than we had um so you know she trying to spin it like oh man i came there to be his teacher and his underling that's disingenuous and the brother even had to come there and he had to correct the brother. Nah, he wasn't my student. So why you even try to imply that? But you wanted to play the big dog role and try to, you know, oh man, he just a little dog that was under me, just my reader. And that wasn't the case, my boy. But check this out. That's crazy. That breakdown is horrendous. Because if you say the branches was broken off for unbelief in the Messiah, what you're saying is, the Jews was broken off from the Jews. And not all didn't believe. Many believed. And so, and a lot of people take this stance. Like I said, a lot of people take this stance. You may not believe me, but let's listen. Let's listen to our brothers, uh, the chief priest, Alazar. Let's see what he has to say. Things started. So let's start there. How did the dialogue even start? The and this is me talking about the dialogue again. This is another little clip. Did I put this up? I don't know if I put this up. I'm, I think I did put this dialogue up. Dialogue came from me putting up a video. I'm not going to show the video here. But uh, it was a video showing that Deacon of Sakari and Captain Tazar are saying the Northern Kingdom are already gone. Okay, so like the Zaryak said, the northern kingdom is already gone. So Christ wasn't talking to them, but that's why he sent Paul. And it's like, brother, if you're saying that, you, you saying that, so the, he said, and then that's why the disciples, yeah, he sent Paul and the disciples to go to them. All right, brother, they didn't go to America. You have to show me where they went to America. You have to show me where they're going at into these places uh, where these folks were scattered. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that and, and that just obviously I don't know how you let that come out your mouth. And he ceased it there. Uh Deacon said it also. So I put up a video that had them that our collage of had them saying that the northern kingdom was not there during the time of Christ. They were already in America. That got Deacon to say, Hey, let's get it, let's do a debate then. Come on up, let's do a debate. Brothers didn't say, Hey. I'm going to call you and let's talk about it. He was in my message just to do the debate. He didn't want to, there wasn't much dialogue. The dialogue was, let me put you on live so I can embarrass you, Jack. <laughs> well, man, it said that, hey, man, I seen this apologist get his head. I seen this Hebrew Israelite get his head cut off. Um, Look at the language. I seen this Hebrew Israelite get his head cut off. That's what Deacon is saying. This is what the title of our videos are. Christian gets slayed, head chopped off, blood everywhere. I'm trying to say that Paul is speaking to Northern Kingdom. Don't ever say that. And I shared that video. Uh, I shared them both saying that. And Deacon eventually hits my uh, my inbox. And, you know, it's probably 11 o'clock on his end, but it's like three something in the morning on my end. Or two something, three something. And, uh, hey, man, you want to have a dialogue? I'm like, man, we can do it. You know, we can have a dialogue. We can set something up. And then it was like, hey, man, you want to have a dialogue right now? And then, you know, I was like, okay, well, we can have a dialogue right now. 
<laughs> and then the dialogue turned into, you know, now it's Assad, and <laughs> I'm thinking it's gonna be it's Assad, it's Deacon, it's uh, it's um, uh, Gorilla Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? Chief Priest, he there. And I said, oh, okay, now I see what this is. I see what this is here. Mm -hmm. You know, but I still, you know, ran through it to give my premise. And if one or two uh, just start to think about what I was saying or just examine what I was saying, they can go in and they can study. I'm not, again, I'm not trying to tell nobody nothing. I'm just trying to show you where these things are at. All right, you take your own perspective. I ain't forcing nobody to know, uh, to believe what I believe, man. I just give you... Um, my take on things and show you why I have my take on things. And so this would end up turning into this drill thing. But ultimately, kind of sounds familiar to what I said in that video they watched. We believe the same thing. And we'll show you this ago. video, this first video here, where you'll see that he's going to say uh, the exact same thing. To Arthur over here into the Americas, right? But I don't see this multitude of the Northern Kingdom that went off into the Greco-Roman world. So that's not who the Gentiles are, right? So just we just have to appropriately understand the scriptures and understand that that's not who the Gentiles are. We have videos on it. We're going to go into it also as we further commentate on this. If we don't get to it on this class, you know, most I will in the next one. But understanding who the Gentiles, in fact, are, who Paul is sent to, understanding the diaspora of Israelites throughout the Greco-Roman world. Is documented in the scriptures and is documented historically, right? But it's not it's documented. Uh, -uh. it's documented historically. The Northern Kingdom, right? Let me play that again for y'all. Let me play it again because ninety percent of Israel understanding the diaspora of Israelites throughout the Greco-Roman world is documented in the scriptures and is documented historically. Right, but it's not oh, I did something the northern thing. kingdom, right, let me play that again for y'all. Let me play it again because ninety percent of Israel ninety ninety five percent of Israel believes that this is northern kingdom. This is what we all were taught. It's documented in the scriptures and it's documented historically, right, but it's not. The Northern Kingdom. It's not the Northern Kingdom. Right. So when you blanket, oh, Gentiles means Northern Kingdom, you sound silly and you have your jaw out to be knocked out. That's what this brother's point is. This is when one of our points are. That's what this brother's point is. <laughs> Who is me? <laughs> and that's what their point is. Um, trying to tell you that you sound silly if you're saying that. Um, that is that is the northern kingdom with the northern kingdom being already gone and i think it's silly i agree with you also that it's silly uh for brothers to say um that is jews that is all jews that's my opinion I think you need you need another piece there. You need another piece there. And I think that's that wild olive tree being Gentiles. But what do I know, man? I'm just a low-hanging fruit. Believed on Christ. According to the Pharisees, the whole world would have followed him yeah. if he was allowed to continue preaching. And the whole world would have been Israel. So And that's another one of our issues is that we don't we don't want to believe that that Israel rejected that we rejected Christ. We keep trying to fight the fact that we rejected. Well, it was just a few of us. Oh, brother. That breakdown make no sense. That the branches was broken off for unbelief in the Messiah. And when I heard that, I said, "Stop." And he said that breakdown don't make no sense and that's his major main contention here that it doesn't make sense for the they were broken off because of unbelief. But I want you to see what this brother said here. Uh, seems my computer kind of slowing down. Let me close some of this stuff. Let uh, 
Um, let's watch back what he said. Congregation of Israel, don't brag about that. Because remember, the root is carrying you. It's the root of that tree, which is Christ. He said the root of the tree is Christ. The root of the tree is Christ. You talking about a tree back in a time where there was no Christ. How could that tree be rooted in Christ? This is a tree that's rooted in Christ, according to you. Go to Revelation and say the offspring and the root of, of Jesse. Yep. Revelation. You bragging like you deserve it instead of saying it is the root of that tree that made it possible. For it's the root of the tree that made it possible in the root is Christ. The only reason you got in is because of Christ. Why can't it be the reason you broken off was Christ? Especially if the tree is rooted in Christ. This tree only grew out of Christ. So he said, don't get boastful. Read on. God will say then. So let's not act like Christ is not involved in this conversation when that's mostly what Christ, what, what Paul Shalakia is teaching. Now, to your to your uh, Hosea nine twenty four, right? I want to offer you a challenge too for Galatians two and eight. But before I get there, I want to do a comparative text on Romans eleven and twenty. Look at the NLT here. It says, "Yes, but remember, those branches were broken off because they didn't believe in Christ." And you are there because you do believe. So when we read the KJV, well, because of unbelief, you are broken off and thou standest, they were broken off. So they were broken off because of unbelief. But you standeth by faith. You hear by faith. Were well, they hear what? They're here by faith in what? So you'll have to say that they're here by the faith in faith in Yahweh, and they were broken off because they didn't believe Yahweh. There's another one here too, uh, but there's none that says what you're saying. Uh, amplified, that is true. They were broken off because of their unbelief, but you stand by your faith. As believers understanding the truth of Christ's deity. You know, even when uh Romans 9 that we that we love to go to, Paul says he wished he was severed from Christ. He wished he was a broken branch. He wished he was cut off from the root for his brethren's sake. Why? Because his brethren don't believe. He wish he could take their place. We misread that also. I want to offer you this challenge too here with, uh, hold on. Bible hub. Mic check, mic check. My mic done went out. Mic check. Oh, okay. Bible Hub, uh, Galatians 2. My check, my check. All right. In Galatians 2, um, <laughs> It might be here. So Galatians two, verse seven, but contrary wise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed to me, 
That's Paul there. The gospel of the uncircumcision was committed to Paul. And the gospel of the circumcision was uh, unto Peter. Who are the uncircumcision? Who are the uncircumcision that a gospel that this good news uh, is going to through Paul? Verse 8, for he that worked effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. So we see that the circumcision here is not Gentiles, right? We know the circumcision is, is Israel. And Paul is saying he's going to the uncircumcision. This same word of uncircumcision now has been um, pretty much replaced with Gentiles. Verse 9 and when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. So we see that uncircumcision get replaced with Gentiles and get replaced ultimately with heathen and they unto the uncircumcision so james cephas and john gave barnabas and paul the right hand of fellowship that they should go preach the gospel to the heathen now i can tell you what you're gonna have to do with this you're gonna have to make the heathen mean you're gonna have to retranslate the bible and make the heathen mean northern kingdom. Um, what is your understanding on that verse? Uh, that's about it, y'all. Uh, he didn't go. He After this, he gets into the brotherly love thing that I put his name in the video. So I shouldn't have did that. So I won't do that in any other videos, brother. I won't put your name in there. But I will probably put your camp in there. And um, and I will continue to correct your videos if that ain't too much. Uh, but I ain't clout chasing, brother. I ain't clout chase. I just uh, want us to navigate through. And I like it this way. I, I like this form. You know, I do a video, you do a video. But if it's low hanging fruit, brother, the big dogs, the high hanging fruit, you don't worry about these little jokers, man. It's best to just ignore this little low hanging fruit, like you said, and keep strolling. Don't worry about it. Ain't nobody watching me anyway. But if you are watching and you enjoyed this content and, and uh, this thing was edifying to you, hit that like button, hit that, sus that subscription button, help a brother out. And um, we'll see y'all on the next one. Pray this thing was edifying, Israel. Y'all be blessed. Shalom.